So, as I said, I ran out of rice water. I should have did this way earlier this morning, even last night, but I forgot. So, I got two cups of water here. And I got some long grain um, white rice. This is non-GMO. So, I have like half a cup here. That should be enough. I'm just making a little small batch. Then I'm gonna do the same thing, put my little essential oils in it, and that will be it. So I'm just gonna let that boil and let it sit for a few minutes. Take out the rice, put my oils in, and that's it. I'm going to put in a little pinch of black walnut leaves. And that is good for um, detoxing and cleansing my scalp. I usually make this with tea, but I'm just going to put it in here in the rice water and see how that helps. And then I also have some cloves. So this rice water is not going to smell good this time. These are cloves. I'm only going to put, that was three, and I dropped one, four. But um, these herbs have um, antifungal properties, so they are will be really good for the scalp as well. Still going to let this boil. So the rice is done. It is boiled. Now I'm just going to wait for it to cool off. And in the meantime, I'm going to go rinse my crazy looking hair this is what i look like right now crazy so i'm gonna go rinse this ugly stuff out and then hopefully by the time i finish doing all that um the rice order will be uh cool enough to for me to add my oil and all that great stuff in so be back put any more rice water in it as you can see but um since i'm down here i'm going to put some tea tree oil in my bottle a few drops And then I'm going to go upstairs and um, get the rest of my, put some rice water in my bottle and put some more oils. So I'll see uh, what I want to add to it in just a minute. So I am back in my bathroom and 
I have my rice water in this bottle right here and it's still warm. I put tea tree oil, peppermint oil, and black seed oil in it. Now I'm just putting in a few drops of argan oil for this stuff right here. And that's it. I'm just going to put the top on. Hopefully it doesn't come out. Nope. And shake it up a little bit. So, my rice water, I'm going to spray some in my hair. I do have like a teeny bit of conditioner in my head. But not enough to defeat the purpose because... It's mostly on the ends and not the actual roots. And it feels good. It's nice and warm. Like doing a hot oil treatment, but it's rice water. And after I rinse this out uh, tonight, I have a random hairstyle idea that I wanted to do so I'm going to be doing that on the video and you guys will see a little tutorial for that but in the meantime I'm gonna let this sit in the usual hour or so. Well, it don't have to be an hour, but for a good amount of time. I'm so glad this um water bottle has not given out on me yet because the other ones I have definitely did already and they were brand new. I guess I better not say nothing for this one decides to change his mind and that crazy too. So I think that's good. Just rub it in, rub it in. Put that peppermint oil in there. It always makes the scalp feel so good. I need to get me somebody to. Matter of fact, you know, when I get popping somewhere in life, I'm gonna get me a <laughs> professional. Scalp massager. On call scalp massager. Call somebody up, be like, um, hi, yes. Uh, I'm, I don't know the, the person's name, but are you available? I really need you to come and uh, work my scalp for me. It's like, no, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do nothing like that. That's dumb. These. Long pieces, even after it was cut. So, I'm really hoping the rice water helps me out. Because I really don't like this afro. <laughs> I mean, it's not new. It's not like I haven't had it before, but that's the whole point. I, I, I need hair still not touching and this hair is together because I had took it down and brushed a piece of it to see to measure it I'm not going to measure it because 
it's the same. Just under my chin a little bit. Same. Nothing changed yet. Not that I can tell. But we're going to keep doing this challenge. So, this week is with the boiled water. Last week was with fermented water, but I'm not sure how fermented it was because I did have it in the refrigerator for some days. So, I'm not sure. I know it stops fermenting when you put it in the refrigerator, but I don't know if that means it was not fermented. I don't believe so because that wouldn't make sense because especially like with drinks and stuff, you know, kombucha and stuff like that so that would mean if you refrigerate it it's not no longer fermented which wouldn't make sense so i don't believe so i think it's just saying that after you put it in there it doesn't ferment anymore than what it already is oh my god i'm just checking out some of these pieces that are different lengths this is always going to be shorter because this is my little kitchen area here but yeah i'm good for right now i'm going to leave it in for a while and then rinse it out and then start doing my little hairstyle video which you guys will see this is day seven of rice water I believe so I will be back maybe Tuesday maybe tomorrow I don't know we'll see so thank you for watching this one well I won't say thank you for watching because I'm gonna put these all together but anyway I'm rambling so um I will see you on another update. I might skip tomorrow and do Tuesday. I don't know. Okay, bye.